Hey guys, today we are finally continuing our Among Us Polos series. Today we are creating the room's laboratory. It's one room, it's laboratory, but it's big. I am ready. This is my fight. Me against the web designers. Web designers? Map designers of Among Us. I am prepared. These are my weapons. And this time, they won't screw me over again. Because I will do my very best to create this part 2 out of cardboard and clay with my weapons. This is today's location. Laboratory is gigantic. It has almost the size of part 1. The part 1 of the Polis map, which we already have created with multiple rooms. This one has also multiple rooms, but it's well, just one location. I did some screenshots on the tablet to get these beautiful blueprints and we are gluing them onto the cardboard and this time I am prepared. I learned my lessons. Yeah, this was a big fight. The scalp map. <laughs> oh boy. But I learned a lot about creating maps, creating them physically. Oh yeah! For those of you who are new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Second, how to put this in words. I'm not a person to complain a lot about anything, but the two map designers of Among Us, they created a beautiful layout, a beautiful gameplay experience, but they did something, which I will tell you. They draw this map, design some furnitures and inventory and all that kind of stuff. But they made a decision. They decided, hey, we are artists. Let's screw with the perspective, for example. This means when you look closely onto the map, into the map of Polus, for example, you'll see that behind some of the walls, there is nothing, nothing. You see this right there, where you, where you can see the, the shelves. It's not that there is not only nothing, there is no floor, it just makes no sense. This is part one of the Polus map. I'll continue complaining about the map designers, but I may have done a mistake. <laughs> they got me again. They got me! Mm. This time not with the perspective, because I was prepared, you know this. This time I printed out the wrong size. Yeah, well done, printer. Ah, okay, this means I have to start all over again, but don't worry, I'll make it very quick. And now you can see the top one is the old one, the bottom one is the new one. I somehow screwed up while taking the screenshots. Yeah, even I do some mistakes. It's not always the map designer's fault. I'm the bigger man here to admit this. Let's take our hot glue gun and we start quickly attaching all the walls, which are not logically in the game. Also the ways, for example. Horizontally ways are way more narrow than vertical ways and hallways. It's just not logically. But probably it would look boring if everything would be accurate. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> okay. This is the door. I did this on part one as well, and I wanted to put in this tiny function. Let's see if it works. Ta-da! No, the door can slide open. And this is the connection piece. The way the tunnel 
which is leading over the lava. Floor is lava. Your phone is lava. Your phone is lava. Sorry. <coughs> okay. Sometimes I get really excited about stuff. Cardboard, for example. Rolled cardboard. A slap of passion. This is cardboard. But it's well, the scalpel, it's its a video editing trick. I didn't really do this with the real scalpel, don't worry. And never try this. No, I mean, I'm really serious about this. I can't believe nothing has really happened with a scalpel or with the scissors in the past in my clay and cardboard career. Knocking on wood. Look at this corrugated wall, which we have now in the tunnel. And it looks exactly like the wall in the game. Mm. These are the printouts of the walls. And I had to print out some of these multiple times because, well, a room has four walls, most walls. Not always, in Among Us, for example. This is the wall with all the beautiful details. Then I take a second, third and fourth one and I just take away the tiles, this beautiful pattern. Same goes also for the other rooms. This is the one with the beds inside. Can anyone tell me what these beds are about? Is it like a hospital? The lines. Also the weather station. Oh, I really love the details in the bathroom. Let's take care of the exterior walls. It's over and over again the same pattern. So I printed it out four times later. When we will create all the landscape around I will make some tiny hills, I'll add the rocks and the holes in the ground. But this is something we'll do in a completely new video, in an extra video. Okay, let's see. We have this room, then the laboratory itself with the beds, the toilet, the <coughs> restroom, and decontamination. Hmm. Is it my fault or the map designer's fault? Or is removing the wallpaper. Let's check down here if we have any details we have to create out of clay. Nope. Mm. Green clay. We are starting with the restroom. These will be the doors, obviously, and also the walls between the different cabins of the toilet where no one is hiding in. I know where to put the imposter once we are finished. And I have to create some more characters out of Tic Tacs. I'm not really sure why I am creating three toilets, because we only need two of these, but it felt wrong. We have three cabins. In one of them is a hole. Hmm what to do with a spare toilet. Okay, here's the deal. I'll include it randomly in any order which is coming into the online store this weekend. Or maybe in all orders which are coming in in this weekend, which is January 8th, 9th and 10th only on clayclaim.com and I'll probably hate myself for this. You can buy the Among Us sets, for example. <clears throat> I better get started working on all the toilets. Enough of the advertisement. We have these six lockers in the hallway and they look so simple and they are made quite simple and quite easy, but boy, I love them. Now this room there's going on a lot. We have the desk in the, the lower left corner with some details on top. And this is the desk. We have a clipboard, well, two of these, 
a milkshake and the folded card. Now let's stick in the straw. <laughs> it's just wire. You won't be able to suck the milk out of it. White and gray and we'll get this beautiful, well, dirty white, which is used for instruments a lot. Computers um, in the 90s were made out of this ochre white uh, and I yeah I miss this color because no one is using it anymore it looks so dirty nowadays or have you seen an ochre computer anywhere <laughs> I like the details of the screen with a weather map on top and also this device I think it's for measuring the temperature I guess some people call it thermometer. And now, <coughs> sorry, we have the laboratory itself with this huge table full of experiments. And I felt remembered to my chemistry class back in school. Now we have some beautiful details on the right side of the rooms, right next to the beds. How to create them. Let's take away some wet clay because they look like a triangle and we will make them quite comfortable with this beautiful pillow and then there is an instrument right next to the beds I have no idea what this is literally no idea if you know what these instruments are are these just table right next to the beds I have no idea please write it down and let any everyone know if you have an idea what this is, well, right next to the beds. We have two beautiful sinks to do some experiments. And also these clipboards as well. And the Erlenmeyer flasks, which we will put in the background. One is elevated to put some fire underneath, probably. And probably my favorite detail on this table is the testing tube holder with within I think four or five four four testing tubes and then we have in the corner this fridge which also includes some testing tubes and there is I think there's also a task around this shelf but I'm not really sure about this but I think so yes <laughs> oh guys I haven't played Among Us for weeks now I am somehow waiting for the new map to arrive so that I then can complain no let's first create the airship and then complain about the design I heard it was already leaked because it found its way into the switch version and some of the screenshots were accidentally leaked. If any one of you can tell me where to find these, because I tried to find them, I would love to start the map right away. And well, the alternative would be to wait. This is the telescope, also one of my favorite parts, and we are ready to go into the oven. Well, everything is still baking inside the oven. We are working on all the contours, which are gray. And together with the hot glue gun, this shouldn't be a problem. Is it just me or does the map already look somehow finished once these contours are added to the map, to the walls? We need a gap for the doors, obviously. And this is a little bit tricky. The deepening in the wall. Fits perfectly. And we can continue with the tunnel and also create this covering to create the contour. Gun. This was hot. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Now, all the walls and the map made out of cardboard is finished. We have all the details made out of clay. And guess what? We will start painting some details onto these. The mirror, for example. He has some cracks and reflections. And, well, the stripe in the middle, the silver one, wasn't originally there in the game, but I thought it, well, artistic choice. <laughs> and the toilet, let's fill in some water, which is transparent polish. And maybe if we make it a little bit more shiny, whoops. I'm cleaning the toilet, because no one else is doing it. And this is the door lying on the ground. We have this beautiful shelf right under the mirror. And now we finished all the cabins in the toilet. Someone should call the janitor! One door is broken! These are the lockers. And I decided to paint these ventilation stripes um, a little bit more black. This is the desk. We need to create the map which is lying on the desk, obviously. I printed it out in different sizes. And we are doing this beautiful folding technique. And let's see what it looks all combined when we are assembling it. Okay. Now let's glue it onto the table. Clipboards. Now let's put it into the corner. Ah, oh, it looks so beautiful. We have this screen, gigantic screen of the weather map and some further monitors and instruments which we will glue into this room. This one in the corner and now I'm so excited to finally create the laboratory table with all the beautiful details. The testing tube holder goes right on top and then we have some paper attached to the clipboards. Just wrote some notes and then well why would be there a milkshake holder right next to the testing tube fridge? Hmm. I have no answer for this. I use thin perspex for the screen, for the, well, for the glass window. And this is always so difficult, gluing and assembling together this railing in the background. And maybe someone can tell me, why would there be a railing right in space? It should be a closed room where everyone can breathe fresh air made of a ventilation system. But no, it's an open wall right in space on a space station. I don't get it. Well, okay, you could say that all the Among Us characters are wearing a mask. Therefore, they get enough oxygen. But it still doesn't really make sense that the wall is away just for the telescope? That no window is disturbing while watching the stars? I doubt it. It's a hospital, right? These holders, I've seen them in the hospital. I have to admit, when I started this creation, I had no idea how to create the curtain and also this holder. But I think it looks nice. Also, these curtains, are they just only on the corners or do they even go to the walls? <sighs> All these questions, because you can't tell from the game, from the gameplay itself. Let's assemble the telescope with a beautiful tripod. Oh, I'm curious if the tripod can hold the weight, if it can support <laughs> the whole thing. at that. Placing it right next to the railing, which doesn't really make sense in outer space. 
Some disinfecting fog and guys, I guess. That's it, Polus part two. Today with laboratory. And another room with laboratory. And another one. And another one. And a beautiful telescope. Okay, now let's see what both parts look like combined. Ugh. <laughs> it has almost the size of the scalp map. I hope you enjoyed this video, this project, part two of the Polus map. Let me know what you think and write it down in the comments. Guys, have and a beautiful weekend. Stay safe, stay creative. Bye.